Hello, welcome to this week's morning message. So, this week's readings have some of my favorite readings in the Bible, but we're not going to talk about that at first. We're going to talk about something that you might not have so much pleasant memories about high school. So if you go back and you think about high school, there were a lot of rules. You're at home, your parents probably had a curfew for you, you had class times and you had to be in all those classes and they took attendance to make sure you did. There were homework assignments, there were all these places that you had to be on time all the, pla all the time. So you go through high school, but there's still some good things, prom, lots of good benefits, despite like all of that structure. But then you get into college, and college has like all this freedom. All of a sudden, you can stay up as late as you want. You can eat pizza for breakfast, or in my case, brownies. And no one is making sure that you can clean up your room or that you're in class. That's all your responsibility. So this gets into the second part, like when you are in college, hopefully what you're starting to get is a growing awareness about the people around you and how we all have obligations toward one another to build each other up and to share our love with one another. And this kind of parallels what's going on in this week's readings. So we start off in the book of Nehemiah and Ezra is reading this the book of the law and everybody is kind of not sure what to make out of this because God's law has a lot of benefits I, you have God looking out for you but at the same time you do have a lot of obligations and then Jesus Christ comes onto the scene and you have a completely different idea of what is going to happen there all of a sudden Jesus gets up in the synagogue and he says that he has this great message of freedom for all of us. He talks about freedom for the poor, for captives, for the blind, and the oppressed. And all of these things are still happening today because of Jesus' message in that moment. So we go from Jesus then to Paul, who is talking about this beautiful reading about the body of Christ. And what Paul's message here is, first of all, that we are really looking out for one another. Yes, we are all like part of one community under Christ. And in that community, we have obligations to one another. We have to look out for the weaker, the lesser members of our society and help to bring them up so that the person who may not be as spiritually strong, you know, we nurture that person until they can become a person who can reach out to others. So I want to leave you with a question. I want to ask you, what part of the body of Christ are you? Are an eye, an ear, a mouth, a leg, a heart, a hand? And just let that be a question for who you want to be for others for this week.